It's Great Day Houston. From food, fun, health, family, in other words, your life. It's your morning wake-up call to everything Houston. And here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special great day today. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay, this is a time to be thankful, and one of the things that makes it a great day in Houston is, of course, our charitable heart. All year long, 24-7, there are hundreds of organizations ready to help those in a crisis. Today, our studio audience is made up of staff and volunteers who keep some of my favorite nonprofits running, and that's a tougher job today than in years past. They provide hot meals for the hungry, addiction counseling, a place to stay, and shelter for abandoned animals. So today on Great Day, we want to celebrate the people behind those organizations. So as a small all way to say thank you. You aren't at any Great Day show. Instead, this is Great Day's Gift of Giving show. So get ready to carry home a set load of goodies. And for the rest of you out there who are doing your holiday shopping, remember these businesses who came forward to surprise our deserving audience members today. The first nonprofit we'd like to highlight has seen the need for services increase dramatically. More and more families have found themselves on the streets with nowhere to go. Thankfully, the Star of Hope not only gives them a temporary place to live, but also helps the homeless to get back on their feet. So please welcome Marilyn Fountain with the Star of Hope. Hello, Marilyn. <laughs> Star of Hope has been doing this for a long time in Houston. 104 years. 104 wow. years. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. And of course, given the current economic climate, uh, that need has increased. Absolutely. We've had more people coming to Star of Hope than ever in our history. Yeah, and it's not the stereotypical person. No, <laughs> we're getting families, we're getting lots of moms and dads and their children. People have lost their employment, have tried a number of things, and have finally come to Star of Hope because that's where there is hope that yeah. we're there to make a difference in their lives and we're just full to bursting our all of our facilities are completely maxed out yeah so we're thinking about making donations this holiday season that's a great place to make one of course I also want to say it doesn't happen without great employees and great volunteers we couldn't exist without our volunteers <laughs> in fact those of you with the star of hope raise your hands with star of hope, raise your hand there you go there you go. Well, thank you very much. A couple of years ago, uh, we did a, a holiday CD yes, uh, did. in honor of the Star of Hope. Has yeah. a couple of Grammy Award winners on there. I did a song on there, and everyone in the audience is getting one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Star of Hope for, the for more about the Star of Hope, log on to SOHmission.org. Okay, when it comes to my favorite things and people who are giving, my favorite place for a good deal is Wright's Pond and Jewelry. It's a good gold mine for jewelry accessories and oddities. And one of my favorite people happens to be Miss Pamela Wright. Hello, Pamela. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, it was interesting. I, I remembered yesterday, you and I met about 10 years ago stuffing bags uh, full of gifts for children in foster care. We did. Yeah. So you're just one of those people who sometimes we see people's businesses and we don't realize who those people are. You're always out in the community helping out. And so I thank you oh, for that. Thank and you. thank you for thank coming you. here today. Thank you. Okay. So uh, pawn shops. Pawn shops are really interesting because they're those places where you can go and if you're looking for something specific like, I was wondering where I could find an oil painting of a monkey with flowers on her head. <laughs> There you go. You can go in there and find all kinds of unusual yes, you things. Can. Uh, also, um, historical things like this right here is an autographed picture of the Beatles. Autographed Beatle. photograph of the Beatles, signed by the Beatles. Yeah, Isn't that pretty yeah. fabulous. So how cool is that? Yeah. And then you have this other piece right here, mm -hmm. which is what? It's a signature of Andrew Jackson, the President of the United States. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, and the other day I was just thinking about I wanted to do something different to my teeth. You can even go in and find yourself a girl. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, right there. A girl. You get all kinds of things. We do but, get all types of things, um, yes. But it's kind of twofold. You can you can go in and buy something, or you can go in and get paid. That's correct. Gold is up now. We hear that over and over again. This right here is an example of how much gold, Pam. That's $350 of gold. That's uh, the average amount the woman has in the bottom of her jewelry box in broken chains, Things you no longer wear, maybe things you've inherited. Yeah, and then and by the same token, that is $6,000. Wow. So a few years ago, this would have been $75. 
and it's the first one. Oh, and, oh, yeah. That's and, I mean, and now it's 300 Yeah. So look in the bottom of your jewelry box. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people will come in and say, just don't want this anymore. Right. And so they can, the advantage to the rest of us who are doing our holiday shopping or shopping all year round is you can get designer. You have David Yurman, Lagos. We you do. have all those other things, but you're not paying the designer price necessarily. Exactly. Exactly. For example, this diamond buckle bracelet. It's for forty nine hundred at David German and twenty eight hundred at our store. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, it still can be pricey, but you're making a big savings. Then there's some other things uh, that can be like seventy dollars or fifty dollars exactly. for Tiffany, for example. Exactly. We have things from ten dollars to ten thousand dollars. Something for everyone's budget. We have James Avery, Tiffany. David German, Lagos, John Hardy. Designer purse. Let's Designer take a look at this one right here. Isn't this cute? Yeah. That's a little uh, Chanel purse. It's a little wrist purse. And Lindsay Lohan wore this to court when she was, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's like, you know, she had to put her stuff in there. She wore it on her ankle with her court-ordered monitoring device. Yes. So, yeah. There wonderful? you go. Yeah. yeah. But you also have Louis Vuitton. You have, you know, Gucci, whatever. You you, you've got sunglasses, all kinds of oddities. Okay. So you have some giveaways I to do. give away. I do. Our first giveaway is this Louis Vuitton pink and, and cream wallet. Retails approximately $600. All right, and that is going to the person who is hoeing ticket number 54. <laughs> who is that? Ticket number 54, 54? Is, is there a 54 in here? 54? <laughs> We'll find, find it, we'll okay. find it, we'll find it. Okay. okay. We're gonna, oh, oh, it's you! Oh, there you go! There you go! I had to figure it out right there. Well, Mara, thank you very much. I'm gonna say hand that to you right there. Okay. <laughs> These wallets have like some big price tags on them. We're going to give away the rest of these wallets uh, in the commercial break. But in the meantime, for every charitable organization that's here today, I think there's nine of you. What do you have for them, Pam? We have a $500 check for each of the nine charities. <laughs>